Welcome to this new video of Eco Crypto Educate. Today, we'll tackle the concept of inflation. If you haven't watched episodes 2 and 3 on money and on the transition from money to inflation, I suggest you do so, to better understand this video. Buckle up. Remember the Times family from the episode 2. In 2018, they were about to buy this house for $200,000. Eventually, they had saved their money over a period of two years and ended up buying the said house in 2020 for the same amount. Agent Holder had rightly intervened, sharing her personal experience in similar situation. While she kept looking for a house over a couple of years, she noticed that the more she waited to make her choice, the less she could afford the house she wanted, as real estate prices were continuously increasing. To tell you more about the concept of inflation, I'll take you to Istanbul and introduce you to my Turkish friend Abel. Abel lives in Istanbul. Early 2012, Abel won a million Turkish liras at the lottery. It was equivalent to 570,000 US dollars. Ten years ago, Abel was already in a comfortable situation financially, before even winning the lottery. Indeed, Mr. Ring Abel was a senior partner at Ditch Her Quick and Hide, probably the most reputed divorce specialized law firms in Istanbul. Therefore, Ring Abel didn't consider it necessary to invest his money when he hit the jackpot. Instead, he deposited and left that amount on his bank account. That's probably because, back then, Abel had not yet subscribed to this channel and had not yet seen any of these videos. Abel recently realized that over the past 10 years, his jackpot was divided by 7, although he didn't actually spend anything from it. His million Turkish liras, initially equivalent to 570,000 US dollars, worth only 84,000 US dollars by end of 2021. I told you about Ring A Bell in Turkey. Now let's meet my Venezuelan friends. Here are Anita and Horace. Horace and Anita are two fervent and enthusiastic subscribers to this channel. Horace Cope and Anita Room noticed that their savings were melting like snow under the sun. Over a four-year period, their currency, initially at one US dollar for 10 Venezuelan bolivars dropped to a rate of one US dollar for 4,000 Venezuelan bolivars. What if none of Abel, or Horace and Anita exchanged their currencies for US dollars? In such case, they would not lose anything. Right? Almost. That would be right, if Turkey or Venezuela were two fully self-sufficient countries, which is not the case. Indeed, Turkey and Venezuela do depend on other countries. In fact, no country is self-sufficient. Indeed, we're living today in a globalized world, where all countries are dependent from their neighbors or from countries at the other side of the globe. Recent COVID breakout was an unfortunate but undeniable demonstration of such interdependency. A mere increase of the coffee beans or plastic prices is enough to trigger an impact on millions of consumers around the world. A general and constant increase in prices means that inflation is around. And that, usually, is not very pleasant because it means that your money has less value. But how can money lose its value? I mean, one US dollar remains one US dollar. Think of it this way. Ten years ago, how much did you need to buy a cup of coffee? How much do you need today for that same cup? For a same good, you need more money. Your one dollar bill today does not get you the same thing it used at the time you were at high school. As you need to work more to buy the same thing, your money has lost its value and you've lost some purchasing power. What generates the inflation? Do we know what we should do to eliminate the inflation? Why governments do not fight it? Who benefits from the inflation and who pays for it? All of those questions will be treated in another video. Meanwhile, subscribe to help me develop this channel and to be notified when a new video is posted. See you soon.